Okay guys, so this is problem 60 from chapter 4 on the section, from the section on source transformations. And so in this problem we have this circuit where we have a 2 amp independent current source connected in parallel with a 6 ohm resistor. This is 6 ohms, 5, 17, 1.5. And the 17 is connected in series with a 34 um, volt independent uh, voltage source. And the 5 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with a 1 amp independent current source. So, what we're doing is, for part A, we're using source transformations in order to find this current here, the one going through the 1.5 ohm resistor. And in part B, we're going to verify that, we, that it's the correct answer by using mesh currents in order to verify that I sub naught. <sighs> okay, let's get started. Source transformation says that if you have a current, some current in, in, that is connected in parallel with some resistance, so some I, R, these are equivalent, equal to each other as that R in parallel, connected in parallel with some voltage source, um, some some voltage of value I R. So they go back and forth. You can toggle between um, however, use whichever method that will help you arrive at your answer because they are equivalent. A current um, in parallel with a resistor is the same as um, a voltage in series with that same resistor. And to find out the value of the current, you use um, Ohm's law, V over R, and to find the value of the Voltage, we use Ohm's law, V is IR. Okay, that said, let's start with this one. We have two in parallel with um, six, so we know that that's the same as a voltage of value IR, which is 12, in series with that same six. So I'm going to source transform that into this. I got 12 volts here. And then these can come together, they're just series connected, so that's just 12. And I got this in parallel with that. So we said that um, if we have 1 in parallel with 5, that's the same thing as the current 1, amp, um, one volt IR in series with 5. Right? V is equal to IR, so um, this should be 5 volts. 5 volts in series with 5, uh, 5 ohms. So I'm going to replace that with that. So I've got 5 volts here, and 5, five volts here, and 5 ohms there. Um, so I've got 2 voltages in series with each other, and they add. So this becomes 17, and this goes away. Series are uh, connected resistors, just add, so this becomes 17. Okay. Now I have two voltages connected in series with each other. So this is, I can do a source transformation into, um, so I can do a source transformation here, and I can do a source transformation here. And why would I want to do that? I want to do that because I'm looking for a current. So if I do source transformations, I'll have a uh, parallel currents which will add together. So let's go ahead and do that. So this is just 17. 17 divided by 17, V over R, gives me 1 amp in that direction and in parallel is 17. This is 17 and I got 1 amp, the current minus to plus in that direction. Um, so V over R is 2, 34 divided by 17 is 2. So I have the current going like this, 1 amp, in parallel with that same 17. Parallel currents add. And I have a typo. I know better than to do not check my work because this should be 2 amps. 34 divided by 17 is 2 on most calculators, um, but not in my brain. So now we have parallel currents and they add together. So this current. It um, adds with that current, and that gives me a net of 1. This gives me 1 amp here. 
Same value resistors connected in parallel are going to be half the value. So this is going to be 8.5, 8.5. So now I have this current here, this one amp. It's going to go in here and then it's going to split in this direction and then it's going to split in that direction. And um, so we're going to use current division to solve for that, um, that I naught. So um, current division says that the current through any branch will be the equivalent resistance of all the parallel connected branches divided by the branch that you're interested in. So the, um, the equivalent resistance of all the parallel connected branches is 8.5 in parallel with 1.5. And that equivalent resistance is 1.275. Okay, so let's use current division. It says, current division says, take the current that you're interested in. It will split among the parallel branches by the equivalent resistance, which is one of, the, of all the parallel connected branches, divided by the branch that you're interested in, which is the 1.5 branch. And when you do that, you will come up with a value of 0.85 amps. Notice that the diagram has shown current in this direction, and the current really splits like this. So to indicate the opposite direction of what we found, we're going to stick a negative in there. So I sub naught is negative 0.85 amps. And that is part A, finding that I sub naught by current uh, by source transformation. Now, um, just to torment us, we're going to do it again, this time with um, the mesh method, the mesh method of um, circuit analysis. Holy moly. Okay, so here's the original circuit. We got two here. We got six here. We got six here. And by the way, mesh is definitely the way I would have done it to begin with. But I don't think e there's neither way is wrong. That I just automatically I prefer mesh and node voltage over source transformation and definitely over um, superposition. One point five, and then I got an I'm not that I'm looking for. So. The mesh method says the voltage drops uh, around a closed loop will be zero. So the, we got one mesh here, one mesh here, one mesh here, one mesh here. Ultimately, our goal is to find the current. So this one we already know is going to be two. So there's nothing, no equation to write here. We know this here is one, one amp. So there's no mesh right there. But I don't know what this is, so I'm going to call this I sub x. And I, I know I'm looking for this. I'm looking for I sub naught. So I have two mesh equations to write here. Um, I'm going to write a mesh at I sub x. And that's going to be 6 times I sub x minus 2 plus 6 I sub x plus 5 that mesh, that voltage drop, times um, I sub x minus 1 plus uh, 17 times I sub x minus I naught minus 34 equals 0. And now I'm going to double check myself to make sure that I didn't make a 6. 6 I x minus 2 plus 6 I sub x, plus 5 times I x minus 1, 17 times I x minus I naught, and that's equal to 0. Now I'm going to start grouping, um, grouping coefficients. I sub x, all of its coefficients are 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 17. 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 17. Good. So then I sub naught group all of its coefficients and its coefficients are right here, which is negative 17. Now constants go on the other side. I got 6 times minus 2 here, that's minus 12, it goes on the other side as a positive. So I got positive 12. And then here I have 5 times negative 1, which is negative 5, it'll go on the other side as positive 5, plus 5. I got 
34, negative 34, and that will go on the other side as positive 34. Double check. 6, 6, 5, 17, 17, 12, 5, 34. Okay, now I'm going to write my second mesh equation. Mesh at R naught. So, the first thing that's going to happen is we got a 34 volt plus 17 I naught plus 1.5, oops, 17 not I naught, 17 times I naught minus I sub X plus um, 1.5 I naught, that's equal to zero. Now we group our coefficients together, I sub X. We got a negative 17 here, plus I sub naught. We got 17 here, and we got a 1.5 there. And that's all equal to constants go on the other side, so negative 34. So I have negative 17, 17 plus 1.5, negative 34. Now, just to triple check myself, I'm going to enter those values into my T89. New two equations, two unknowns. So I got 6 plus 6 plus 5 plus 17, negative 17, um, 12 plus 5 plus 34. And then I got negative 17 on the second equation, plus 17 plus 1.5, and then negative 34. Oops, 17 plus 1.5 and negative 34, solve. And that tells me that the I sub X, which is not what we're looking for, but it has 1.075 amps, and I sub X is what we're looking for, is negative 0 0.85 um, amps. And so we proved it through the mesh that I sub naught is negative point. 85 amps, so we proved it in two ways. And that is the answer to this problem. Be sure to share with the video with your classmates or like the Facebook or um, or um, yeah, like the link on Facebook. Alright, bye you guys.